Good morning. Today we're going to investigate the vertical forces acting on a plane while it's taking off. And so currently, as the plane sits there and hasn't started moving yet, we only have two forces acting on the plane. Gravity and normal force. Notice looking at this graphic here, the forces are equal. Forces are equal because the plane is not in motion, it's not accelerating, and when something doesn't accelerate, the forces are balanced or equal. Let's pay very careful attention to this graph as we start the simulation. So notice there's a vector attached to the plane pointing forward, that's the thrust force. I'm going to show it to you again. Now focus on this graph one more time. As the plane's speed increases, the lift force increases. Eventually, when the plane takes off, there is no more normal force. So how can this graph be explained? What's the connection between all three of these forces? So while a plane is taking off, there are three forces at work. The normal force, lift force, and gravity. While on the runway, the vertical acceleration is zero. So while the plane is still in contact with the runway, there is no acceleration in the up-down direction. That means that all the forces acting upwards, in this case normal and lift, have to be equal to all the forces pulling the object downwards, in this case gravity, because the forces have to be balanced. And so we have the equation that normal force plus the lift force is equal to the gravity. And with that in mind, notice that these two columns will always add up to that column. Normal and lift is equal to gravity. Normal force is zero when the plane is no longer in contact with the ground. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.